The following video is brought to you by Avout, the right staff at the right time at the right price. For more information about Avout and the services we offer, please go to avout.com. Hello again everyone, this is Chris Ostrowski from Avout and in this video we're going to take a look at the technology differences between Oracle's eBusiness Suite and its new generation of financial applications called Fusion Applications. This isn't intended as a definitive view of all of the different technologies that are out there, but it should give you a pretty good overview of the new technologies that Oracle is incorporating into Fusion Applications and how they differ from the existing eBusiness Suite. So let's start off by asking the question, what exactly is Fusion Applications? For those of you who have worked with the eBusiness Suite for a long time, you know that there is no plans to make an eBusiness Suite version 13 from Oracle. There is currently eBusiness Suite version 12. The next version of the Oracle eBusiness Suite will be called Fusion Applications and it's a complete rewrite of all of the applications from the ground up. In the last couple of years, Oracle has purchased a lot of different companies, and the Fusion project is an effort to integrate all of those different technologies of the companies that Oracle has purchased into their latest version of what, again, they're calling the Fusion applications. As of today, January of 2014, you can see all of the different modules that are available. The entire technology stack of the existing eBusiness Suite is not yet available on Fusion applications, but it soon will be. Everything that you see on the screen here is currently available. What exactly is a technology stack? Well, you can think of a technology stack as all the different technologies that deliver end user information to the end user. So from the bottom up, from the operating system and the hardware, to the database, to the middleware technologies, all the way through to the technologies that the end user uses to access information. That certainly could be through a browser running on a PC, but it could also be running a mobile application on an iPad or an iPhone or an Android phone or a Windows phone. The existing R12 eBusiness Suite technology stack consists of, from the right-hand side of the page, an Oracle database which stores all of the information, the Fusion Middleware application server, which contains various technologies to serve up the information to the end user, and the client, which again could be a user running a browser on a PC or using a mobile device, such as an iPhone or an iPad. The 12.2 version of the eBusiness Suite replaces the Oracle Fusion Middleware Application Server with the Oracle WebLogic Server. This is a very important distinction and a significant technology change. In the next couple of slides, we'll take a look at this a little more in detail. The Fusion application technology stack is based on a lot of new technologies. In order to fully understand Fusion applications and where Oracle is going with it, you'll have to understand a lot of new technologies. You can think of the user interface on the top of the screen here as like the left hand side of the previous slide. Oracle no longer uses Oracle Forms as its main display technology. It uses some technologies called ADF and Web Center. And again, we'll talk about more about this in the next slide. Fusion Middleware is like the middle piece of the previous slide. In Fusion Middleware, which again is based on Oracle Web Logic, you have various technologies like service-oriented architecture, security, ODI, Oracle Business Intelligence Enterprise Edition. These are all stored in the middleware product of Oracle. Again, there is a significant technology change between eBusiness Suite 
and what's part of Fusion Applications. The RDBMS, which corresponds to the right-hand side of the previous slide, again will be driven by Oracle and Oracle Database Technologies. This final slide is what will provide you with an easy way of comparing the different technologies between the Oracle eBusiness Suite and Oracle Fusion applications. As you can see, the database is still driven by Oracle technologies. The Oracle database 10G was used for the Oracle eBusiness Suite Oracle Fusion Applications out of the box uses Oracle Database 11G and certainly will use Oracle Database 12C in the future. The application server uses Oracle Application Server 10.1.2 with some 10.1.3 technologies as part of the eBusiness Suite. A couple of years ago, Oracle purchased a company called BEA and one of the major pieces of the BEA acquisition was the acquisition of BEA's WebLogic application server technology. Oracle WebLogic will be the foundation of all Oracle middleware products moving forward. Again, in the Oracle eBusiness Suite version 12.2, the major technology shift was to start using Oracle WebLogic as the application server. This is intended to make things easier for end users to upgrade to Oracle Fusion applications in the future. The main user interface for the eBusiness Suite is Oracle Forms along with some Java server pages. In Oracle Fusion applications, a technology called Oracle ADF and Oracle ADF Java server faces is used. Oracle ADF stands for Application Developer Framework, and it's a set of libraries that's built into Oracle J Developer that allows developers to build database-based applications relatively simply. A lot of the major pieces of ADF handle the, un the uh, underlying plumbing that goes on behind the scenes for a typical Java and web-based applications to interface with an Oracle database. Java Server Faces is a technology that gives developers the ability to create very rich applications in a browser. So typical things like the various widgets that Oracle, uh, that various users have come to expect in their web-based applications are available to you inside of Oracle ADF for developers. The portal component has changed from Oracle Portal to a new technology called Oracle Web Center. Oracle Web Center is also integrated with the development environment, Oracle J Developer, and this gives developers a very easy way of creating portals. Portals are incredibly important because they give end users the ability to customize the way they see information. The more an end user can customize information, the more buy-in they have, and the more willing they usually are to accept new applications easily. The data model moves from the Oracle eBusiness Suite data model to a data model that incorporates the technologies in the companies that Oracle has purchased over the last couple of years. So there are things like Siebel data model pieces, PeopleSoft data model pieces. You'll see all of that as part of the Oracle Fusion applications. To handle attachments and imaging, Oracle moves from blobs, which are binary large objects, to a new technology called Stellant. Workflows and approvals originally were coded inside of PLSQL. Oracle Fusion Applications uses a technology that's associated with service-oriented architecture called Beeple. Beeple stands for Business Process Execution Language and is an XML-based language that allows you to link together various web services inside your organization. Reports used to be a combination of Discover and 11i reports from the Oracle Reports product. 
Fusion Applications uses a new technology called BI Publisher. BI Publisher ties in very well with the next row in our list, the Analytics section. Discoverer was used as part of the eBusiness Suite, a much more robust technology called Oracle Business Intelligence Enterprise Edition is used as part of Fusion Applications. BI Publisher interfaces with OBIEE very easily. Financial reporting used to be uh, contained within the financial statement generator. Oracle now uses Hyperion as its, as, as its financial reporting technologies. Integration through web services and SOA technologies originally was done through a very complex product that interfaced with the Oracle eBusiness Suite called Application Integration Architecture. The AIA is built into Oracle Fusion Applications as all of Fusion Applications technology are built upon the SOA framework. Fusion Applications also incorporates the business process execution language workflows and various more, uh, more uh, web services. The XML gateway that was used inside of the Oracle eBusiness Suite has now been replaced with BPEL with a B2B adapter. An adapter is a formalized way of interfacing with various external applications, products, and users. So as you can see, there are significant technology differences between the Oracle eBusiness Suite and Oracle Fusion applications. Initially, there will be a learning curve for most organizations to incorporate these new technologies. But once these technologies are adopted, the day-to-day -day maintenance of your application and the ability to be flexible and agile increases a great deal. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any more questions about anything that you've seen inside this video, please don't hesitate to go to the About website and contact one of our specialists.